Hello, my name is David Malin, and I'm the instructor for Computer Science E1, Understanding Computers and the Internet at Harvard University's Extension School. You're watching one of our videos of the week. For more such videos or information about this course, visit us on the web at computerscience1.org. Enjoy the show. Hello, my name is Ray Diaz and I'm one of the TFs for Computer Science E1. You're watching our video on dissecting a PC. Um, just sometimes to get to know the, your PC a little bit better, it's nice to know what's going on inside as well as outside. Everybody's already familiar with the CD or DVD-ROM drive, floppy drive, power button, and so on and so forth. But what's going on inside? Well, it doesn't hurt to take apart your computer, at least take the cover off. To, before we do that, we will definitely want to unplug it, and it's probably a good idea to unplug any components you might have in the back, such as your keyboard, mouse, uh, monitor, etc. We can remove the cover just by pressing on two plastic tabs on either side, which allow us then to just flip it open. Opening the cover varies from computer to computer, make and model. Uh, but in general, it's the same principle. Inside here, we have once again the uh, optical drive. Uh, it's interesting enough to note that uh, CDs, DVDs, whether read-only or writable, tend to look mostly the same. Uh, the floppy drive. Underneath here is the hard drive. And uh, behind it, in this green area, is the motherboard upon which our RAM uh, uh, chips, uh, in this case DIMMs, expansion cards, the processor, the power supply, BIOS battery, and so forth. We're going to take these apart today. Um, I'm going to start with the floppy drive. Connected to the floppy drive are uh, two cables. One is the IDE cable, which connects it to the motherboard. The other is a multicolored power supply cable that gives it power to spin up, as they say. This particular model of PC happens to have a snap-in design such that everything just sort of snaps into place, which allows us to remove components simply by sli sliding them out of their uh, housings. This right here is the floppy drive. This is where the floppy cable goes, and this is where the power supply cable went. I'm going to remove the CD drive by unplugging the uh, sound cable, IDE, and power supply again, and it slides right on through. Similarly with the hard drive, I'm just going to pull out the IDE cable, power supply. This is seated more securely in with these two snap fasteners, but once I squeeze them, the hard drive too just slides right on out. If you're ever interested in upgrading your computer by adding a new hard drive, uh, usually uh, computers will have, the, uh, have them slotted next to each other. So in this particular model, there's only room for one hard drive. But uh, should you happen to have room for two or more hard drives, they would usually be housed in casings uh, right next to each other. Again, uh, the uh, connector to the motherboard and power. Right here are the expansion cards. I'm going to remove the snap fastener and I can take out the expansion cards just by lifting them straight up from their housing. Straight up from their housing. This is the video card. Um, if you happen to have a need for running more graphic intensive programs, you can upgrade your video card uh, typically, that can be done by getting one with greater uh, video RAM or, uh, and or a better uh, graphics processing unit or GPU. I'm 
I'm going to take out the network card as well. It's shaped a little bit differently. Not all network cards will have this triangular shape, but that's okay. It's just uh, built that way. And uh, you would plug in your network cable in the back. Uh, that, of course, allows us to connect to a local area network. Right here are the two RAM chips. They can be removed merely by unclipping the fasteners that go on either side. Upgrading RAM is, uh, can be an entirely separate project, and we cover that in our video, uh, Upgrading RAM. It's recommended that you don't touch the gold connectors that are at the bottom of both expansion cards and RAM chips. It's also recommended, and we neglected to mention this, that when you take off the cover, it's a good idea to ground yourself by touching the power supply. Um, safety purists will also recommend using a wrist strap, that uh, an anti-static wrist strap that uh, helps keep you grounded. Uh, it's also our official recommendation for safety's sake, although it's not always convenient. This right here is the uh, heatsink, which sits right on top of the CPU on the motherboard. Uh, it's made out of metal, and what it does is it pulls heat up from the CPU so that when the fans are blowing, that heat can be drawn out of the computer and a more reasonable internal temperature can be maintained. There is a fan here next to the uh, power supply and a fan in front, and the innards are designed such that there's an air channel which drives the warm air out and to help keep that more reasonable internal temperature. That, in a nutshell, is the uh, innards of a computer. Uh, on behalf of the E1 staff, I'm Ray Diaz. Thank you for watching Dissecting a PC.